Let's talk about some of the other things that we put on our body every day. If someone mm -hmm. sits down and really counts, I think they'd be amazed at, you know, the deodorants, the lotions, the shampoos, the conditioners, the soaps. The, is there a cumulative effect on our skin? Do we put too much and what sort of things do we have to or should we watch out for and look for? Well, I think there is a cumulative effect depending on how good the absorption is and it's, uh, we live in a very chemical society mm -hmm. which has done us a lot of good but it also can, you know, get people sensitized and have allergens. I think the best thing is just to look at the labels and be sure that the products don't contain any of the um, preservatives that you wouldn't want, the parabens or phthalates. And also to go, um, just be aware of your own sensitivities or your family's sensitivities. And uh, that, of course, makes a difference on the weather, whether you want to use a heavier topical or a, more of a, a gel for dry skin or um, a lighter lotion in the summer. So um, I think you just have to really be aware of how much, how much you're stocking up. And I know women are more aware because when they pack up their makeup bags or they're going to go to the gym and then they get dressed after the shower, it's like they brought the whole chemical factory mm. in here. I mean, my goodness, I, it's, it's crazy, actually. Yeah, well, that was my next question, uh -huh. makeup. What, what is there, are there healthier options? Are there things that, that women can do to, to make it, I guess, a, a healthier decision? Well, I think um, some of them um, are known more for being natural. There are natural lines that, and organic mm. lines. And you have to be careful with the marketing, though, because natural is a very broad term. There's um, some changes in the, uh, in the packaging now to say what percentage are either organic or um, uh, natural. Natural is very confusing because chemicals are natural. We have all kinds of chemicals in our sure. body. So you just have to be a very kind of savvy consumer to try to see what's the marketing and what is, you know, the science behind it. Because mm -hmm. it's quite misleading sometimes. I would just say go with a brand you have confidence in and you know they've had a lot of studies, a lot of, um, a lot of good science behind mm -hmm. them.